everyone and welcome back to the Leilani Estates update for June 24th, 2018. Tonight we do have a few things to talk about, nothing major and uh, something really cool I'm going to want to show y'all. I, I think y'all enjoy that will be coming up real soon. So we're going to get right into the update. First thing we're going to do is take a look at a map from the USGS which I haven't shown before. This is a thermal map. Uh, this imaging was done on June 24th, 2018 at 6 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. What it is showing us is Fissure 8 and the established lava channel uh, flowing from its source all the way to uh, Kapaho uh, where it's entering the ocean. And finally what it also shows us uh, is a notation that Fissure 22 is showing small flows and apparently the uh, the other fissures, 6, 16, and, and I think it was 18, I may be wrong, uh, apparently are, are no longer producing any, any spattering or, or uh, incandescence. The USGS reports eruption of lava and gas from the lower east rift zone continues now into the seventh week. The eruption remains hazardous and therefore HBO is maintaining alert level warning. The fissure 8 cone continues to feed a lava flow reaching the ocean at Kapaho, uh, area coastline. Uh, Short-lived overflows of lava from an established channel occur periodically but generally do not travel beyond the existing flow field. This batter cone is now 180 feet tall or 54.8 meters in height and fountains only occasionally rise above that point. The lava was entering the sea this morning on the southern side of the entry area primarily through the open channel but also along a 1 kilometer or 0 0.6 mile wide area. There has also been no changes on Highway 130 with any of the crack width, temperatures, or gas emissions uh, again now for several days. The EPA air monitoring sensor on Compono Street here in Leilani Avenue at 9.24 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time was reading uh, 0 0.08 parts per million for uh, SO2 and 0 parts per million for H2S. The sensor up on Leilani and 130 uh, was down. However, the last reading, which was at 7.04 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, detected 0 parts per million for both SO2 and H2S. And finally, the activity summary for Kilauea Volcano Summit. Episodic collapse of Kilauea Volcano's caldera floor continues, at times accompanied by bursts of small amounts of volcanic ash. The most recent of these occurred today at 4.12 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Since late May, these collapse explosion events have rarely produced significant ash plumes rising more than 10,000 feet above sea level where they can pose a significant hazard to aviation. For this reason, HBO is reducing the aviation color code from red to orange. Collapse explosion events that may produce ash plumes are expected to continue as long as subsidence is occurring at the volcano's summit. At any time, activity could intensify, producing more ash and higher ash plumes. During these events, ash may be transported downwind and impact communities. And that will do it for the update report. Now, let's talk about the thing I mentioned earlier, something cool that I wanted to show you. So with no further ado, here it is. Ta-da! It's the Lava River fresh out of the splatter cone of fissure number 8. And that stuff is moving fast. I mean, it's really impressive to sit here and watch this. Um, luckily, I got a, a better view through the camera, through the zoom. Uh, sitting on the tripod visually it's very difficult to see but uh, it is it is amazing um, someone the other day I was talking to actually uh, described this this whole event with uh, a, a two-word phrase and you know I thought it was very appropriate and and I definitely agree it is it is an appropriate description and that was it is a beautiful disaster perfect I mean, because that's what it is. It is a beautiful disaster, and uh, it's just amazing. So anyways, I captured this, this video of the Lava River. It's flowing uh, across Leilani Avenue down at Luana, or excuse me, it's crossing Leilani Avenue down at Luana Street, uh, moving on down the channel uh, northeast, 
uh, around uh, Four Corners area, then dipping back down to the south, south, um, east, and flowing down through uh, Kapaho and out into the ocean. Okay, let's take a look at it from a, a different angle. Uh, also, a little bit more time has passed, and it's gotten a, a little darker. Not too dark, but uh, the, the sun is definitely uh, behind the mountain now. Um, the lava's gotten much brighter. You can also see the edge definition a little bit better there at the flow. Also, just a disclaimer, the, uh, the soundtrack on this video is edited in. Uh, it did not sound like this. The, the only thing you could really hear out there was uh, the Koki frogs and, and some of the other uh, night critters, uh, the uh, crickets and things, and of course some other people that were out there. Now for an announcement. Uh, for those of you that have been asking me whether I was going to have t-shirts or, or things uh, of that nature, uh, the answer is, is yes, and they, uh, some are now available. Uh, it's a limited selection of, of images available on, on a multitude of different uh, items, everything from t-shirts to uh, cell phone cases to uh, even wall clocks. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, you, you can find that at redbubble.com slash people slash doing Hawaii. There will also be links in the description. Uh, don't forget about my doinghawaii.smugmug.com uh, account uh, where you can get uh, access to my, my photo uh, library and see all the wonderful photos that uh, uh, I've, I've been taking of this event and, and you know things all around Hawaii over you know, last or actually over the, quite a few last years. Um, also you can follow me at uh, Twitter if you want uh, and share your photos with me. Uh, show me what areas are like for where you live and, and places that you've seen and things. Uh, I, I love looking at uh, photos from all around the world and because uh, it, it's amazing you know the, the beauty that, that's on this planet and uh, the perspective that that beauty's captured in in photography. Um, so that, that wraps it up for the update. Uh, I'm going to shut up now and just let y'all watch this for a little bit. And uh, thank you for uh, joining me again. This has been the Leilani Estates update for June 24th, 2018.